Hey you guys, um, this is a um, review video for a company called Bedellium Tools and they sent me over a few brushes to review. Um, so yeah, this is the box that came in. All bubble wrap. And for the brushes. They sent me um, seven brushes to review. They all came like this. So let me get started. The first brush is, um, this one didn't come with a um, little thingy like this with the name. But I think I remember on the website it said blush precision brush. And it's just, uh, let me see. Getting good lighting. It's just a, um, a flat top brush good for um, buffing in your foundation um, I did try this for blush I don't like using it for blush I mean even though it is dense enough and y'all this brush feels so freaking good like OMG like this is softer than a MAC brush and these brushes I have max price so um, that's another thing I gotta say before you run off and buy max brushes um, check these out. Buy a few of these and check these out. I want to buy the rest of them. They're not expensive at all. I promise. I pinky promise. But this one is good for buffing in foundation. It is very, very soft. Very soft. And I think this one's synthetic fibers. And I don't remember the cost, but I promise I'll have everything <coughs> in the down bar below. So, check that out. So, that's the first brush. And this is the number is 957. I don't know if you can see that because it's not the zoom camera. The next face brush I got is the AP Blusher Brush 964. And it says a truly all purpose brush designed for blush or face powder. Optimized soft, natural, and synthetic mixed fibers. And I wanted to keep them in a little thing so I could read y'all that and um, so that I can um, show y'all what the packaging came like. And I washed these and used these already. I just put them back in the packaging. But this reminds me of the MAC um, 129 brush. Um, I don't have mine in the bathroom with me right now. But to me, it's got that, um, that cut like that. And it reminds me of that. And this one also feels so good. And it works really good for applying br blah, 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 blush. So, this is a good one for blush. And it's called the, nine six the number is the 964. And the last face brush is the bronzer brush. The 992 bronzer blush brush. Blends bronzer beautifully and offers uniform coverage across the whole face. Blends of natural or soft natural fibers. And it's a little fat brush like this. Now I personally I don't like wearing bronzer, but what I did use this for is um all over the face powder and it works really good for that blending in um um blending together your makeup like blush and you got your highlight whatever you do you can just blend the fine lines out just like that or oh, like that and once again they all feel so soft it's incredible and like the price is like when I give you the link to the website well actually you can't buy the brushes on the website but uh, when you click to buy the brush it'll link you to it'll send you to amazon.com so that's how that works. But this is the bronzer brush, 992. And I really recommend all three of these brushes so far. <coughs> the next brush is the pencil brush, the 780 pencil brush. Um, pencil shape tip creates precise shading on the eyes, ideal for blending eyeliner into eyeshadow, natural and synthetic mixed fibers. So what I use these for 
or what I think they're good for is smoking out the eyeliner like you have eyeliner and you want to have a smoky look which I'm gonna um do a smoky look soon because I got one of the um one of Max paint sticks so I wanted to try that and this is an exact dupe and feels way better than the MAC 216 brush I promise y'all look at it it looks just like the MAC 216 same point no shedding on none of these brushes I wash them pull at the hair no hairs nothing don't shed at all so that's another thing I like about that because I hate like my Coastal Sense um, stippling brush Every time I put that thing on my face, it's like all kinds of hairs all over my face, one in my eye. So I'm stuck in the product. You can't have that. So it's a really good brush. And this is also good for detail, defined crease work right here. So this is called the 780 pencil brush. <coughs> the next brush is the large shader brush. Ideal tool for shading with eyeshadow leaving a precise professional look. Mixed in synthetic fibers. And this is the 774. Looks like this. And it feels really good. Now this is the type of brush that you use like if you want like a light sweep of color on your lid. This is not something I would use for packing on color. Um, this brush, it is kind of dense but um, is not um, stiff enough, you know, to get all of that color on the brush. So this is something like if you want like a light sweep of color on your lid, and this is perfect. And again, this is called the 774, and no shedding or anything. Um, next is the small angle shader brush, the 765. Um. Angle tip brush create to apply and or blend eyeshadow. All soft natural fibers. And this one is dirty. I'm sorry. I used it for a look the other day. And I just haven't had time to clean it. But you'll be able to see the fibers better. Or the brush better. Oh my back. And it looks like this. And it's really really soft and good for defining the outer V like all I do when I um do my V is I like like where the slanted part is I take and just do 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 and then fill it in the rest of the way to make it more um darker so this is a really good brush for that and this is the 765 and lastly the small angle brush it says angle brush helps define your facial features and is perfect for work along the lash line. Optimize natural and synthetic fibers. Okay. I was really upset about this brush because it is a, like this is not meant for um, eyeliner. Like it's so thick. Like I wish I had the other camera but if I had my MAC brush and put this inside my MAC brush and showed you this when y'all be like what the world and it picks up so much product and gives you like a really thick line look I'm about to show you so. alright look all that product probably can't even see it but I'm about to put it on my hand Look how big of a line it gives me. Like for eyeliner. Look. That, you can't do that for eyeliner. Like, I don't know, but, um, since this is not for eyeliner, you can contour your nose with it. I find it works best for that. So, um, yeah. This this is it. Like I, said, I can't fill in my eyebrows with it, nor can I apply gel liner the right way with it because it's so thick of a um line. But all the rest of these, I will go pick up. Like they are the bomb. Urgh! I want all of them. 
and uh, like I said I'll put the link and prices and everything in the bottom bar so go check out the website and thank you guys for watching